I wanted just to briefly touch on this. I asked you what a unicorn was, okay? So a unicorn for our purposes, apart from being my little pony, uh, a unicorn is what they refer to as, a, as a, basically a business that's gonna just grow and grow and grow, okay? Amazon is a unicorn. Uh, Airbnb is a unicorn, right? Um, the reason that they're a unicorn is that they grow so quickly and so fast, they get such scale, that they, if, if you've invested in one of these things, you're gonna make a lot of money. Right, And we are going to have to talk about investment. We're going to have to talk about the implications of this. We're going to talk about a particular case on Tuesday, um, and you're going to see some of these numbers. All right. So a unicorn basically is, is a very successful internet digital entrepreneurial business that just grows. So there's a list of some of them there. Uh, Slack, uh, in, in different, different categories. Uh, sorry, let me get rid of this. Uh, Slack, um, Asana, in terms of internet software services. On the social side, obviously you've got the Reddit, Pinterest. Pinterest is, is one I need to spend a bit more time on. FinTech, Revolut is growing here. Stripe, you see Stripe there? Stripe is a great little business. And when I say little, I mean massive. Um, Stripe was founded here in Ireland by two brothers. Um, they were in their teens, they were in school, and they won the, we have this um, young, I think it's an international thing as well, there's the Young Scientist uh, competition every year for secondary school students. Uh, and, you know, it's a, it, it's a big thing, you know, schools can enter it and so on. Um, and they won the Irish Young Scientist exhibition with this idea of a payment services, a payment, uh, this bit of programming to enable websites to process payments to credit card companies, much simpler than some of the existing stuff out there. And they, that was only about 10 years ago, and they were in their teens. Their company they formed as a result, while they were still in school, is now worth about eight to $10 billion. Okay, they employ hundreds of people here and hundreds of people in San Francisco. I think the head office is now based in San Francisco, but it started in Limerick, which is a town of about, I want to say 80,000 people uh, about two hours from here in Ireland, okay? So anything is possible, okay? But they're a unicorn. So they had this, they won this competition. They caught the eye of some investors as a result who backed them, helped them, you know, in terms of capability and everything else, put some management structure into it and helped them grow this business. And as I said, so they would have got, you know, investment initially, some backing initially, maybe, you know, tens of thousands of euro, then maybe a couple of hundred thousand euro, possibly then some more money and some more money again. But that business now processes a vast volume of payments on websites um, uh, all over the world. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the payment platforms um, and it's worth about eight to $10 billion. So, you know, that's, it's gone really well. So that's the idea of, of a, of a, of a unicorn. It's a business that just goes like that. Now, the reality is not every business is going to do that. Very, very few become a unicorn. Very, very few businesses become a unicorn. And there's a lot of business for every one of these businesses that makes it big, there's lots of businesses that fail. And we're going to look a bit about that at, at that at some stage. The next thing is I want you to think about this question. I mean, this is where we're going to come back to the newspaper business. What makes a business digital? What do you think makes a business digital? So we've kind of talked about a business and if you think about it, I want you to start with the Hanoi Barber and I want you to get to the likes of an Amazon or a Stripe or a WeChat or something like that, you know, it, it, some big successful business. What, what, are, what, Where are they the same and where are they different? Okay, of course, scale is, is, is part of it, but taking scale out of the equation, what makes a business digital? So I want you to think about that because that's going to be part of your homework, all right? What makes a business digital? Um, there are a few definitions that we can, we can get into, you know, so from LifeRay, and uh, the, there's, on, on one of the slides, there's a, there's a source box where you can click on it. Digital business uses technology to create new value in business models, customer experiences, and the internal capabilities that support its core operations. We use technology. That's the fundamental thing, first of all. Using technology, which is the internet, using programs, using systems, okay? To create new value in business models. 
customer experiences and the internal capabilities. So it can be any of those or all of those things. It does not have to be, you don't have to be an influencer. You don't have to be a YouTube channel. It's if we use technology, if we use digital information technology, internet technology to create new value. And that value can come from customer experiences. So the customer is able to do something they were never able to do before. Okay. Uh, and that could be, so for example, we talked about pizza earlier on. So, you know, it's only you know, five years ago, if you were ordering pizza, you'd order by phone. Now, of course, you have the option to order by a website or by a, some sort of aggregated provider like Yelp or, or one of these things. Okay. So it's using technology to change the business model, change the processes, change the customer experience somehow. So the customer still gets the pizza, still arrives, you know, 15 minutes later, maybe 30 minutes later, still tasty, hopefully. Uh, I'm looking forward to myself to a Texan barbecue later on, but we won't talk about the food right now. Um, but the customer still has that experience. But the other side of that is that they don't have to, you know, they don't, they don't have to make the phone call. So there's not radical difference there, but they're able to, you know, to, to do it using, using a website. Now, is it radically different for the customer? Not really, but they're able to sort of play around and figure out exactly what they want, but it does smooth the process and saves money for the pizza business. Okay. So it's finding a value in the business model somewhere by changing something for the better. Okay. Uh, so it can include digital only or traditional businesses that, that, con that convert or, tr or transform with digital technologies. And that's actually one of the interesting pieces here. Like some of the, some of the really good small businesses that win in the digital space are ones that take a traditional business and find a way. So we'll come back to Zara, because Zara has been really good at building its business. It's a very successful, fashionable clothing business. And we're going to look at why it is that, why, why it's like that, first of all. Um, but they've set the tone, but other businesses now have come on and they've moved it on again as well. You know, because they've taken some of that Zara capability and, you know, enabled a digital version of that. All right. So we'll see that. So you know, what makes a business digital is not, it's a different question, what is digital business in one sense, but it's rooted in that same idea. It don't, we're not talking about just coming up with a, you know, a fabulous website. That's not what we're talking about. How do we create value? And how does somebody buy into that? That's what we're trying to get across. So we can look at something like, I just picked this one up. There's, you know, there's hundreds and thousands of these on the internet. Shelby Church, okay? Uh, so she's an influencer and she makes money, right? By doing these YouTube videos and so on. And she has her base and she's up over a million, I don't know, whatever the number of followers she has. And she gets so many views and, you know, uh, and she's up front about, you know, I, you know, I, one of the pieces I'm going to share with you is here's how I make money on YouTube. So this video made me X amount of money. This video made me this amount of money. And I did it by different ways. Or it's because of this advertising or because it was this topic or whatever. So that's one avenue. But there's loads of people like that. Now, some, some of these are very good. Shelby Church appears to be successful. But she's just really, it's a form of entertainment in some ways, as well as educational maybe in other ways. It's one aspect of being a digital entrepreneur. But there are lots of others is the point I want to make. Is she a digital entrepreneur? Yes, she is. You can Google her and you can look at a few of her, her things. So one of them is, is like I said, um, making money out of, uh, there was an article on medium.com, which was about how, you know, she makes money on YouTube and, and uh I'll send you that link, okay? Um, 